WTFNN. Headline News Update. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman, and we're looking at the 1 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network Market Update. Dow's down 31 at 33,499. Trying to rally a little bit, going back to the, the dark side here. And what we're looking at is, uh, I'll go through this in the show coming up, the next, this coming hour. What we're looking at is key support in the 33,000. I would put it at 33,000. 300 is going to be re that, that, that must hold over the next two days. What we're also looking at um, within the context of uh, the daily charts is the S&P, the one on the left over here, <clears throat> also went lower than yesterday's low. It's up again at about plus seven at 4,078. It needs to hold the 4,050. I'd said going to the 4,000. Uh, 80, 4,080s would be a problem if it took that out, and it has so far. But the weekly chart is still not too bad. Looking at the QQQ, and the, and the QQQ is the index 100. That is a sharp seller from yesterday, but it's it's holding quite nicely there up for about 377 at 313.75. That makes the 309 area this week really important support to hold, and the resistance is probably in the 315 to 316 uh, area. Uh, IWM has been very weak. The IWM is down uh, 19 cents at 172.89, making that arch formation. Gold, I'm watching gold very closely because gold just saw the nine period moving flip under the uh, 14 period. It's gone pink. The days young, there's a daily chart. So I don't want to talk about it as if it's closed. It's still got a little way to go time wise. But this is just saying to me that. There's a really good chance that gold is going to try to test the 1979, 1978 uh, level, and that's going to be important because the dollar is uh, it's come back a little bit. It's down 35 ticks at 101.49. It's trying desperately to see the MACD holds nicely. The stochastic's only at 41 percent. It needs a lot. It needs to go a lot higher. Um, only if the dollar can get to the 102.65, 103.15 area will I say, hey, that's much better action so far. It's so so. Crude oil was pulling back earlier on, still down 67 cents at 76.40. And the TLT, I think bonds are just stuck in a range. And I'm going to stay with that because you can see right here in this rectangle formation in the weekly chart, it's kind of in the middle of the range, a little upper end of the, of the middle of the range. I'll be back. In a moment, my usual uh, show is at 10 o'clock, the Tiger Technician's Hour. Check out my opening call, Daily News Center, and I'm doing a webinar a week from today for subscribers. That should be great. I'll be back in a moment.